Welcome to this week's Plan Your Week Zoom. Um, I hope that you come away with from the Zoom with tons of ideas to prepare you for the week with your content because we are business owners and it's important that we are treating our business like a business. Um, that was one of the big things that I discovered after being in this business for like a year that the reactive strategy can work for a period of time, but the proactive strategy is what's really going to make you successful. Target and other big companies like, you know, Walmart or think of anyone that's advertising on a big scale level, they don't just throw up their marketing the day of. And our business is no different. And I always like to say that our intention behind my intention behind the Zoom is for you to free up time. So your business is not to consume your entire life. And if you're feeling like it's at the point where it's consuming your life, this will help you gain some control of your time because you're taking a bit of time to really open up more time throughout the week and really help to understand how Thrive and your business is an aspect of your life. It is not your entire life. So you are not Thrive. Lavelle has its own marketing, its own brand. My intention with this is to help you un uncover like what is your brand. And that was something that I was really confused by when I first started, when people are like, you know, make your brand. I'm like, do I have to like create my own logo? Do I have to have like a color scheme? Um, do I have to like, what do you mean my own brand? And what your own brand really is, is the components that make up you and how you are uniquely created to have an impact on this world through your experiences and the things that make you an individual. And the more that I've stepped into the things that make me an individual and not try to pretend to be like somebody else, the more that it resonates with my audience, the more success I'm having, the more response I'm getting. So the more that you can own the person that you are and just how thrive in your business is an aspect of your life and how it is incorporated into your life into a daily basis. If you look at that, it'll completely change the way that you're connecting with people. It'll change the, the impact that you're having and it will really create a legacy around um, your entire mission and your vision for your life. So I'm just going to read. I love being prepared. Me too. <laughs> You know what they say, fail to plan, plan to fail. So did you want to say something, Shannon? I did. Starting the Thrive program and, you know, you're just now learning what exactly these three steps can do for you. You might find yourself where I was. The things you thought you loved didn't mean that much. And you started changing that's okay. Show that to your audience as well, because everybody will go through something like that, at least once in their life. Absolutely. Um, I think it's important for us as humans to evolve. And FYI, if I start cutting out at any time, can you please just pop it in the chat so that I can make sure that I am clear and coming through for you guys. But we evolve as humans and or at least we should be. And that's kind of something that makes us unique as thrivers is because we feel so good. And because you feel good, you want to do different. And people want that for their lives too. So if you can show them that you're evolving and you're changing and um, that like it's for a positive direction, like people will be drawn to that because they, most people don't want to be stuck on the hamster wheel of life where they're just doing the same thing over and over again and not seeing their life progress like we can be that beacon of hope for people that feel like they're stuck you know what I mean and that's something for me too as I've been doing this insane challenge that some days I'm like why am I doing this <laughs> um, is that I'm realizing more like where how important my time really is because I'm having to like really structure my time. And that's where like this comes in. If I'm not adequately planning out my week, as far as my content goes, I feel like I'm, I'm not hitting my audience as much. I'm not impacting them as much. I'm not um, sh getting my story to resonate as much. And 
there's something that I read in the nuclear effect and I've talked about that. This is a book. It's I'm going to type it in here. Nuclear effect by it's about creating a seven figure online business and like who doesn't want seven figures because I know I do but something in the marketing portion of this that really like resonated with me and I know I've talked about this is you've got to realize that your audience is on different wavelengths as far as the buying process goes so there's like three different things that he talks about so it's important for me to hit on those on a daily basis um, at least one of them every day there's the sidewalk, there's the slow lane, and there's the fast lane. So sidewalk is they are starting to recognize they have a problem, like they want to make it, they maybe want to make a change in their life, whatever they're doing might not be working for them. So this might be like, this was me at one point where I'm like, I just I felt like I just accepted the fact that I am supposed to be tired and like hate my job every day. And that's what adulthood is. So when someone's in the sidewalk lane, our purpose is to paint a picture of how being tired isn't a way of life. Being financially struggling every day isn't a point of life. Um, having your time consumed by everything and not doing the things you want to do for your life is not normal. Like those things, you can have more things in your life. You can have more energy in life. You can have more income in your life. You can have more time. And we have that. The slow lane is they recognize there's a problem and they're actively seeking solutions. So maybe they're, they follow a couple people that have online businesses. Maybe they've started searching for a part-time job. Maybe they're like researching, Googling, how can I have more energy? Maybe they're, um, they're just trying to figure out a solution because they know what they have going on right now is a problem, but they need to fix it. And then, so it's our job to say like, here's the proof as to why what we have is different. So we set ourselves apart, um, why our products are different, why our business model is different, um, why, our, why our company is different, those sort of things. So then we're painting that picture that sets us apart. Then there's the person that knows that there's a problem, ready to make a change, ready to pull the trigger. They're just trying to find a trusted source. And this is where you need to plant yourself as an authority. So how can you plant yourself in as, as an authority? You need to show how you do things different within your business. How do you treat your customers? What resources do you provide people that want to join your business? And if you feel like you're brand new, because I want to address Gina, because she said she's new. <laughs> if you feel like you're brand new and you're like, well, I don't have all the answers and I don't know what to do. You have uplines. You, there is a page that you're plugged into, obviously, or you would not be on the Zoom. There is people that have paved the path before you that have a proven method that you can adopt as your own. So you can say, like, we have a great community, even if you don't have, like, you're not grown to the level where you have, like, your own chat or your own page or whatever. And you can have a vision for how you want to treat your customers differently. So positioning yourself as the authority. Why would somebody want to buy from you or trust you as opposed to somebody else that's thriving on their timeline? Because sometimes that happens. So like for me, that looks like when I'm sending out thank yous to my customers, I will talk about that. I will talk about how I customize my samples differently. I'll talk about how um, I will take the hand of anyone that joins this business and show them what to do and be their mentor and be there for them and not just leave them hanging. Because do you know how many different network marketing companies, especially if they've been with another company, they might've experienced this where someone's like, here's all the information, have fun, bye. And then they're like, I have no idea what I'm doing and I feel so alone. And that's why they're not successful is because they don't have the right resources or the right mentor. So how are you positioning yourself to be that mentor, to be that person that is going to walk them through the business and have confidence in that fact. You guys, leadership is not something you ever feel ready for. It is not, never something you're like, oh, all right, today I'm going to be a leader. Today I'm going to, I feel confident in all the things and I'm going to be the most incredible leader. So let's start leading. That's not how leadership works. Leadership is something that you grow into. You take initiative. You say, I want to make a change in the world. And I'm going to be a leader. That means that you, if you don't have the solution to something, sometimes actively searching for it yourself first 
If you're struggling in an area, you're self-developing. That's leadership. If you are um, wanting to grow in a certain area, search about it. Don't just rely on somebody to come to you with the answers, like really actively searching for something. If you want to scale your business <clears throat> to 200K to where it's replacing your income, it's providing options for your family you're wanting to earn one of these bonuses. You need to start positioning yourself as a leader right now, even if you don't feel ready, because you, if you're waiting for the moment for yourself to feel ready, it's never going to come ever. The way that I became a leader was like, I, I want to help other people. How am I going to position myself with the knowledge I need to answer questions? So that means you're on Zooms and you're implementing the information that you learn. That means that you're actively seeking out questions before just running to your upline first. So utilizing the support system in the back office, um, using the team resource pages that we have, just going and watching some of the Lavelle videos that are on um, the cloud office, just searching the products, researching the products and stuff like that. I mean, I don't really think you need to know all the things about the products because if you're passionate about it, that can replace any knowledge because passion on fire is better than knowledge on ice. And so there's that. So if you guys, you guys need to start positioning yourself as an authority figure and confidence is built through keeping promises to yourself and stepping out into unknown situations with bravery. So be brave and implement the things that you're learning. So let's get into what we're planning our week now. So let's get into that. And I'm going to give you some ideas about stories, reels, um, that you can do. Reels is like TikTok, but for Instagram. And it's where you need to be <laughs> right now because it's it's a new feature, still a relatively new feature that Instagram put out. So anytime they have a new feature, I know, same C's. Anytime they have a new feature, if you're utilizing the feature that they have put out there, they're going to push your content out more. They're going to give you priority of, over other people that aren't utilizing it. That means your stuff will start showing up on the newsfeed more for your audience. That means that they're pushing your content out more. Okay. So Monday, Monday is inspire. A lot of these things are going to be repetitive if you've been on our, our, um, Zoom before. And that's because you need to work smarter, not harder. So like, why are you trying to reinvent the wheel and try to come up with brand new ideas every single week when you can recycle ideas, just put a new spin on them. You don't need to keep reinventing yourself every single week. So Monday, inspire. People are tired from the weekend. It's the first of the month tomorrow. So how are we going to help people get started on their month? They're the first of their month on the right foot. How are we going to help them get started on their week on the right foot? Post something inspiring. And like I said last week, find a Pinterest quote that has to relate to you. Change it a little. Flip the wording a little bit so that it sounds like it's coming from your mouth, like not like it's coming from somebody else's. And something that I've discovered is instead of taking a photo of the quote, and like posting it, actually just typing out the quote, putting one of those color backgrounds on Facebook and then posting it because then your content is shareable. Somebody can't just save your photo and then resend it or then repurpose it. They have to share it if they want to share it with their audience. And that opens up new networks for you. So super, not super comfortable with Instagram getting there. Yep. You just got to dive right in. Reels are short little videos up to a minute long that, um, and I'll give you ideas for how to do some of them, but I believe we have an Instagram training it's out there floating around somewhere that I'll have to push out to you guys again. That talks all about reels and how to use it. So we want to make sure that we're inspiring, but we want to make sure we're creating content that's specific to us. So that's a good way to do that. Thrive. How are your Mondays different than they used to be? This can be something that you post <clears throat> at the end of the day. This can be something that you post at the beginning of the day. If it's in the beginning of the day, it needs to be short and sweet. You need to make sure that you're not just posting all long form content 
that is like written out because sometimes people just don't have the time to read everything. Something that's quick and that um, is going to impact people. So a picture of you with your capsules saying like, no coffee needed. Glad that I don't have, like, look at this dust collected on my coffee pot. Um, feel bomb at 4 a.m. You need the hashtag. You need this. Now you got to make sure when you're posting too, I'm just going to give this tip real quick that when you're posting, you got to understand it's, it might be cool for you to post at a time that's convenient for you, but your posts aren't for you. They're for your audience. So you got to put your mindset in where is my audience at this time of day? And this, is this appropriate to post at this time? So if you're post, if you get up at 4 a.m. like me and you're posting at four, it's not going anywhere because the majority of your audience is not up at four o'clock in the morning or even six. You need to be like 6.30, 7 o'clock, something that is going to be able to get to them before their crazy day starts, their crazy Monday. So Thrive is how are your Mondays different? Talk about what they used to look like or even just a short little snippet with you, a picture of you with your capsules, with maybe the way that you used to start your morning, like hold up a pot of coffee and say like, this used to be my life. For me, I did a picture of like two large energy drinks one time and said, this is what I used to consume every single day. And I still felt tired. Uh, stories, tech. We're going to talk about Thrive Against Cancer patches. Talk about it in your stories. And because it's going to come this week. It has to come this week. <laughs> it has to. So why is it so unique? Why is it so special? I'll give you a brief overview. The reason it's so special is because everybody is affected by cancer in some way, shape, or form. You know one person in your life directly or indirectly that's been affected by some sort of cancer. Our company wanted to sell, set itself apart and not just bring awareness to cancer one time of year like breast cancer awareness in October or whatever. They wanted this to be something that was year long that could make a dent in the research, the funding, the development of cancer research. So that's what's special about the actual movement behind it. What's special about the product is they took the best of every single patch and put it into one super patch, basically. <laughs> So if you've been thriving for a long time and you want to feel like a day one thriver again, this is where it's at. If you have somebody on your timeline that might have aggressive weight loss goals, this is what they need. They are going to, he, Paul or Jason said himself that like he, he said it's super powerful. So if somebody is like just starting, I don't know how good of an idea it would be to like have them jump right into this super formulated sticker. But I think it's something that you'll want to reach out to your current customers about that have thrived before. Or maybe they're people that the people that were doing a three-day sample and they're like, oh, I just don't feel a difference. Like get this patch into their hands. So talk about how the patch is different. If you're needing all the things wrapped into one, mood support, appetite control, weight, weight loss, fat loss, all the energy in the whole wide world, you need this patch in your life. So talk about how that's different. Reels. Take um a sound that's like, I don't know, like you know how there's music that like makes you feel emotional when you hear it. Take I one of those the reels. Okay. I'll get I'll hop to you next so you can provide right. a different idea. I love that. Um, because we want to equip you guys with multiple ideas. So you know, if you like those songs that you hear that like provoke emotion in you, and you're like, it's just like you feel you feel it. So find some, a song like that and then talk, not physically talk, put in little quote bubbles, a mental battle you overcame and how did you do it? So like how to overcome anxiety in three ways and then just talk about it. Or like for me, I did one a while back, which I think I'm going to do something similar is I talked about how I was in an emotional abusive relationship and that affected how I took care of myself because I was always focused on them and validating myself through them. And the second that I removed myself from that situation and focused more on God, I found myself and that's where my validation is. And now I take care of myself. So 
how a man a mental battle or something that you've overcome in little bubbles. Okay, Shannon, do you want to share yours? It's something similar to what you were saying, but what I was um, thinking about doing since it's the beginning of a week, it's mm-hmm. the beginning of a month. Mm-hmm. Why don't you pick three different pain points of what your ideal customer might have or what you personally have went through, like maybe the anxiety or the self-care part, the weight loss part, the energy part, and put your top tip for each one of those little things of how you can overcome that. Like for me personally, with my energy, I could have grabbed for the soda or the energy drink, but instead I grabbed for these capsules and my energy goes all day long and I don't have to grab again. And for the mental health part, I used to be where I would hide. Now I have the confidence to be able to speak up on a Zoom Mm -hmm. and the weight loss right there, the new tack that's coming out. I am so excited for it because I feel pretty stuck. I went from a 24 to a 14. I'm not at my ideal weight loss. This is going to help me get there. Mm -hmm. Do more than one thing and give them tips on each individual section because everybody goes through more than one thing at a time. Yep. Love that. Especially women. And Katie brought up a really good point. Use trending songs when, so when you're making reels. So something that I personally do is I'll set a timer <laughs> because we don't want to get sucked in the rabbit hole. Cause you could watch reels all day. Trust me. I set a timer for like five, 10 minutes. And I'll just go through reels for that time and like get ideas. So I'll save songs that I hear. I'll save like, you know how there's like little quotes that there are that you can like do a mouth over lip sync to. I will set a timer and do that. Cause otherwise (laughs) I will just watch reels all day. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I do. Reels are fun. Just you guys, here's the thing about reels. Just start doing them. I know it's scary at first because you're like, oh man, I'm on a video. It's just like a live, like lives are scary at first, but the more you do them, the more comfortable you get. Just do them. They're fun. And if they're not perfect, who cares? You'll get better at it. The, the point is at least you're trying, you know what I mean? And people appreciate realness over perfection any day. So if you're trying to get a message out there and it's less than perfect, people will love your message more than they'll love you trying to be a perfect person. Jennifer, I will send you the, the, the zoom I did, the Instagram zoom I did with Ashley Sai, so that you can watch that. It's in my, I believe it's on my YouTube channel. So if you follow me on YouTube, it is on there. Mm-mm-mm. Let me just pull up my YouTube real quick to make sure I'm not lying to you guys. <laughs> yeah, all things Instagram is what it's called. So you can watch it on there. Somebody put in the chat that they're scared to do lives. Do it scared, sweetie. I am yeah. still terrified to do lives. I do them on a regular basis now, at least weekly. And I've been getting into the TikTok and the Reels the best advice I can give you is do it scared and just have fun with it. You don't need to be perfect when you're not perfect. You are putting out there to the world that you're just like everybody else. You don't yep. want to be perfect. Here's the thing I've learned. So the, this year, and I've shared this a couple of times, but I always know that there's new people on this and I want to make sure that my message is hitting with you guys. The beginning, actually the end of last year, I told myself, I am going to show up as much as me as I possibly can. That means sometimes I show up with no makeup. That means sometimes I'm a hot mess and I show that. That means I share my message, my excitement. That means I unfollow people that I'm trying to mimic instead of being inspired by. And I'm just going to be authentically me, the messy me, (laughs) The hot mess, let's be honest. And I've said this multiple times. I'm like, you guys, if I'm a hot mess and I can do this business, you absolutely can. And I think if you're trying to paint yourself as too perfect or try to emulate somebody too much, you make the appearance to your audience that they can't do this because they're not perfect. 
And we don't want people to feel that way because anybody that has work ethic and shows up as themselves and does the things can be successful in this business. It doesn't matter where you came from. You do not have to have the perfect house. You do not have to have the perfect kitchen. You don't have to have the perfect body, the perfect face, the perfect makeup, the perfect hair. You don't have to have the perfect clothes, the perfect children. Let's be honest. (laughs) You don't have to have all that stuff because that's not real. And people appreciate authenticity much more than they do you trying to pretend like you're real. Oh, girlfriend, I have so much gray hair. It's not even funny. You can just search Megan Holcomb, I believe, and it should show up. Yeah, it's just Megan Holcomb. So, um, moving on to Tuesday. Oh, and the best times to post reels on Monday are 6 a.m., 10 a.m., and 10 p.m. Stupid ladybugs. Um... (laughs) Tuesday, educate, save a time, or share a time saving tip. You can either do this in a live, and this can be one of your five things. So, what your five things are are five things that you make uniquely make you you. So, like for me, one of my things right now is that I'm doing this 75 hard thing. I so it's a health journey for me. Um, I my faith is important to me. I am a dog mom. I am a mother of three kids. And two of them are teenagers and one of them is just going into school next year. Um, And another thing that makes me me is that, um, I don't know. I have, I have it all written down, but um, five things that make you, you, what's a sign, what's a time-saving tip that you can share around that? So maybe that's like, if you have children, cool. Mine are 13, 15 and five. So a time-saving tip. So like maybe how do you organize like snacks for your kids? Because my kids want snacks all the time and it's ridiculous. How do you save time with grocery shopping? How do you save time with running a business? How do you save time with cooking meals when you have a hectic schedule with kids? How do you save time any way that you can save time? Because time saving is so important for people. It's the one commodity that you can never get back is time. So this can be either in a live, a stories or a reel. So you can do like a live and talk about like, here's some ways that I want to share how to save time doing X, Y, Z. In the stories, you can just talk about it in your stories. It's important for you to speak in your stories. So people that only watch stories know that you have a voice and you're not just like a picture. Real, you can be like, set to set it to music and then just like point and do tips that way best time to post reels on tuesday is 9 a.m thrive we got to get back to talking about bonuses you guys if you've fallen off from talking about these bonuses i know you can't say the dollar amount but you can say rank matching bonuses so if you go 4k that would mean put the dots together you can say that sort of thing We got to get back to it. We have two months left of this bonus period. You could impact somebody's life in two months. You somebody can go 12k in two months. That's fifteen hundred dollars just in bonuses every single month. Not to mention they could be on the leaderboard. So if you felt feel like you haven't talked about the bonuses in in a while, time for you to talk about it. Talk about it in a live. Talk about it in a post. If you talk about it in a live. It helps bring the excitement. If you've lost your excitement, I don't know what to tell you. (laughs) Like, re-listen to the, I don't know if they have a recording of the call, but I was crying in the live I did after they announced the bonuses. So if I need to get rerouted and how exciting that is, I, I watched that. I watched that live I did because I was crying. I was shaking. I'm like, I don't even know how to talk about this. And I, I was crying, dude, I was a blubbering mess. And if you think again, if you think you need to be perfect and you need to be like, I have to have the perfect drop, drop, backdrop. And I have to make sure I hit all the points. No emotion wins over perfection any day, any day. So talk about the bonuses. You have Share to keep excitement about what you're going to do with that money and ask other people what could they could do with a bonus like that. It can change lives. 
Do you know how many people are checking for their refund right now? Over and over and over again. Do you know how many people are like watching the news? Like, when is the next stimulus check going to come? Dude, give them a stimulus check every single month for a year. That's what it is. Come on. This is life changing. And if you haven't achieved a bonus yet, don't sit on the fact that you can't give that to somebody else. And that could, that person could completely change your business. Stop sitting on the potential for other people's lives just because you haven't reached your position yet. If you wait until you're ready to talk about, like if you wait until you get quote unquote success to talk about quote unquote success, you are never going to get success. You got to paint the vision. You got to visualize it for yourself because your brain will move you forward to that. And you got to talk about it, even if you're not achieving what you want to achieve yet. Because if you don't open that door for somebody else to come into your team and do it, you're going to stay at the same place forever and ever. Amen. So start talking about it. Um, stories. Highlight three to four people that have earned bo bonuses, and this can include yourself. So there are you're plugged into the dream team or one of those pages that has people that achieve bonuses. Ask them what it's done for them. Like, what are they excited to do? And then just type up a little blurb, ask them if you can use their picture and they will let you trust me. They will let you, if this is you dude, talk about it. Talk about what you've been able to accomplish with the bonus. Talk about what you're working towards. Like, what is it helping you do for your future? I know there's a girl on my team who earned the bonus last month and She's saving up for a house. Do you know how many people want to save up for their own houses and just don't know how? Like your story is the key that can unlock somebody else's future. Come on, let's go. Wednesday. <laughs> Hold on one second, Meg. Um, I want to uh, hit something in the come in the chat part. Just because you have not earned a bonus yet does not mean you should not talk about it. I've hit 4K. I lost 4K. This month, I finally got my 4K back, and I am more than 60% going towards my $12,000 bonus. It's the last day of the month. It's not going to stop me from running for it, but I know that car bonus and everything else could help others, and I never want to hold somebody from below me going past me. So always be willing to talk about what it can do for you. If you haven't hit that bonus yet, go to the fan page. Go to thrive to survive the dream team whatever and find somebody who has hit that bonus and share their story it does not always have to be yours but never hold anybody back yes and somebody said like i have only achieved 4k so i'm not comfortable talking about the car bonuses are going further because i haven't gotten there you will never get there if you don't talk about it you won't you got to envision that for your life. What would it be like for you to have your car payment paid for every single month? And you do not have to know the compensation plan. You don't have to know. Please do not think you have to know the compensation. There are 12 different ways that we get paid in this company. I don't even know the full thing about the compensation plan. Let's be honest. All you need to know is that this income can impact somebody, whether that is $15 a week or $15,000 a week because that happens. Stop waiting for yourself to feel fully knowledgeable, fully prepared to actually start doing the things. Because if, like I said before, if you're waiting for the perfect moment, when you feel like you've got it all together to talk about it, you're never going to get there. You got to start talking about it. There is a live video on Lisa's Lisa um, Fuller's page that talks about the compensation plan and breaks it down. You don't have to know it. Say, girlfriend, there is 10, 12 different ways that you can get paid. I don't even know them all. I can send you a video that explains it, but all I know is that it, the ability to earn income is unlimited. Unlimited. There are people in this company that make 50000 plus a week, you guys. A week. It's unlimited. Stop shrinking your, sh stop shrinking yourself by thinking you have to be ready and know all the things. Yes. Law of attraction. Mom. Amen. Jacqueline. I'm sorry. As a homeschool mom, 
I heard this quote, somebody, I don't know if it's a quote or not, but somebody said it a while ago and it fits into our business too. Think about, would you hold your kids back from trying something new because they haven't done it yet? Or would you want them to push forward and keep going? We need to show them that regardless of whether we've been there or not, we can talk about it and we can move towards it. Yep. And the way I think I'm going to touch on this quick and then we'll keep moving forward in alignment with law of attraction, you guys, the way it works, cause I know it's really confusing for some people and you might be like somebody that believes in God and they're like, I don't know if I want to talk about the universe. I don't give a crap what you, what you believe in. I mean, I do, but I don't because it, the whole premise behind the law of attraction is your brain literally goes where it you tell it to go. It creates pathways. It's scientific. It's neurological. It's a real life proven thing. It's like when you get a new vehicle and you see everyone on the planet that has it all of a sudden, all those people didn't get cars all of a sudden. It's that your brain is more aware. So it moves you to look for that. So if you're not saying I am going to 12K and literally picturing yourself having your tracker click over to 12K and seeing that bonus and seeing that auto bonus, you got to visualize it before it ever happens. You got to believe it's going to happen for you. You got to speak it into into existence because the second you start doing those things, your brain is like, all right, let's find out a pathway to get there. But if you're saying I'm, I'm never going to be 12K, your brain's like, all right, let's make that happen. That is literally how your brain works. It is not even like, you don't even have to be spiritual to believe in the law of attraction because it is scientific. So if you believe in science, (laughs) then you need to know that the things that you tell yourself and the things that you envision, they matter because your brain will try to move forward towards that. So wasn't it you that told me to go to the car dealership and sit in a car that I wanted and take a picture of myself in it? And I need to take my own advice and do that. (laughs) (laughs) I need to I have a picture of it I even customized my truck the exact way that I want it I know what color it is I know how it's gonna how much it's gonna cost a month I put all the specifications that I want I have printed out it's it it's in my desk and I look at it every single day because I know it's gonna happen the end Wednesday we're gonna try to go through these really fast Wednesday tell Share a wellness tip. And again, this can be a live, a story, or a reel, or even a post. Best time for reels, Wednesday, 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 10 p.m., your time. So share a wellness tip. So you can talk about, you guys, if you're not living out a healthy and well life, I don't know. Like, I don't know what to tell you. We're part of a health and wellness business. You better at least trying to be trying to do something healthy and well for your life. Drinking water, I don't know. But I'm not saying you have to be a fitness expert because yes, it is important that we show our audience that this is a lifestyle. Our products are lifestyle focused. That means that any lifestyle, any walk of life can utilize it. But you, if you want to position yourself as an authority, again, why should they trust you with your health and wellness if you're sitting on the couch? Why should they trust you with their health and wellness if you're not actively showing them in stories or in your posts or in your lives that you're attempting to live a, some sort of a healthy and well lifestyle, whether that's you practice self-care, maybe that's you practice drinking water. Maybe you are a fitness enthusiast. Maybe you're just trying to like walk more, whatever that looks like, share a wellness tip that other people can benefit from. Thrive. Answer a few questions, a few of the most asked questions about either the product or the business. So this can be a live or a post. You got to think about like, what are, what do people ask you on a daily basis? And just be like, I wanted to answer a few questions that typically come across in case you're wondering the same thing, because then that might move them forward in the mindset process. So let's move on to Thursday. You Thursday could is pros and cons also on Wednesday. Oh, that's a good idea. Like that. Thursday, engage. What is your favorite thing about spring? 
because it's coming and I'm so excited, even though it's like dumping snow at my house right now. It was like 40 the other day. So I got like a glimpse of spring for a minute. <laughs> pre um, vacations. Yeah. Spring break. Oh, yes. Ask what their favorite thing is about spring in a post. Or you could do like a this or a that in polls in your stories. So you can say like, um, I don't know whatever like this or that spring edition google it search it on pinterest there will be something again there's we are in the age of information there is no reason you should ever say i don't know how to or i can't find you and can post, i'm sorry yeah. you're good. <laughs> no you're good i was just gonna say for a post i've noticed people love those fill in the blanks if you could go anywhere in the world where would it be um what, or even like the predictive text things those are fun. yes that's awesome too so anything that can create engagement i just like to give you guys an idea um so you can do you don't have to follow that obviously but something to engage your people because you want to create engagement around that's how your algorithm improves is you showing love to others through engagement engaging on their posts and them engaging on your posts so we got to do that thrive throwback thursday so this can be you throwback Thursday, even if it was a week ago, what did you like, maybe you were, you already noticed a difference in your face, or maybe you already had throwback Thursday to the days that I don't, never got any sleep throwback Thursday to the day, days where my kids were parented by their devices. I don't know, whatever throwback Thursday picture. It can be an experience. It can be anything just throwback Thursday and then put the hashtag throwback Thursday. Stories, testimonials. Um, I believe there is a there's testimonials on some pages that you can use for examples if you don't have anything yourself, or you can actively find three people, sidelines, downlines, uplines, whatever, and ask them to to share what is one thing you notice with the product quickly in like a little bubble, and then you can screenshot it and post testimonials. Why do we need testimonials for the people in the slow lane? that need to know that our products actually work or that our business model actually actually works. So testimonial Thursday. Reels, best time to post reels on Thursday, 9 a.m., 12 p.m., 7 p.m. And what I have is like three unexpected benefits of our products. So just do a music with like the pointing thing, three benefits that were unexpected to you that you received from the, from the products. Okay. Friday, Friday is educate and inspire. Let's not make it complicated. Post a quote. People are ready for the weekend. Post a funny meme about the weekend. Post a picture of yourself with a funny quote about the weekend, whatever you want to do. Thrive related. Freebie Friday or sample Friday. You got to keep getting samples into people's hands. Freebie Friday can be like one product or you give away a sample. Like don't do freebie Friday every single Friday. Do like one freebie Friday and then maybe talk about how you're packing up samples over the weekend and then do the freebie Friday the next one. And like you can just give away one thing. Like you can give away a packet of rest or you can give away, um, I don't know some activate or pro bars, whatever, any one little thing. Um, good wording for freebie Friday. Um, it's Friday and I'm feeling a little free. So I want to, I want to help some people feel good or I want you guys to try something for new, like, and then have them like put, send your favorite gift. Like, give me your favorite gift to be entered to win this thing, whatever. I can help you with that too, Jennifer. <laughs> Um, Have you ever wondered why I feel this way? Drop yeah. your favorite man ever to find out. And they send them something that makes you feel great. Mm -hmm. Love that. And then for samples, I'll just, I'll sometimes just post a picture of samples and then say, packing up samples, drop a heart to get yours. Or packing up um, spring happy packs, drop a heart to get yours or whatever. Or I'll say like, if I sent you a three day of thrive and you took it exactly as directly, would you give me your feedback? And then I just tell them like, it's $15 just to cover the shipping and the product. Have confidence in your products, please. And in confidence in charging people for them, 
because if you're not putting value on them and if they're saying, well, I can't buy it, dude, 15 bucks, get GTFO H if you know what that means. <laughs> dude, $15, you can find $15. You can, it, and if they want to feel good, they will make the commitment. You guys, I didn't even have a hundred dollars to purchase the products the first time, but I was like, I am sick of feeling this way. I am going to use the last hundred dollars on my debit card. I don't even care. I'll figure it out and I'll find money. I said that like, what your friends may have is concerned. You're um, cutting. I'm telling you what they have. Um, your Facebook's 14 is on this. Well, A, are you adding to your network every day? And then B, sometimes, you guys, sometimes I don't get any. You got to just keep being consistent. And maybe that's showing up in your stories and talking about samples, which is what I was going to say for your stories. Talk about samples. Talk about what they get in a, in a sample. Talk about what they're going to feel in a sample or what they're going to experience in a sample. And that means the simplicity. They'll 90% of people feel a difference within the very first day. Like be confident in that fact. Um, and stop telling yourself those limiting belief stories can really like stop saying no one can afford it. If you're saying that, what did I tell you about your brain? It's going to tell you and show you people that can't afford it. If you're like, everyone needs to experience these products. I mean, I would pay so much more money for feeling the way that I do. If I go a day without the products, I'm like, God, my life is awful. <laughs> this is what my life was like before. They are gold. And if your network isn't as you, you keep getting like that, they need to, um, they don't have enough money, blah, 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 blah. Find a new network. You gotta, you gotta get outside of that. Um, blah, 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 blah. reels best time to post on reels on Friday, 5.00 AM, 1.00 PM, 3.00 PM. And I don't really have anything for reels. Drop it. Hey, drop ideas for reels that have worked for you. Katie, I know you're on and you do them all the time. I got a good one for reels with this one. Three uh, apps that save you time in your day. Share There's no reason not to share them. Perfect. Um, Saturday. Saturday is entertain. People are usually like immersed in their families. It doesn't mean you don't show up for your business. They're immersed with their families. They're occasionally scrolling um, their news feeds. So we need to entertain them because that's what they're looking for. <clears throat> no, I don't advertise them as free ever unless I'm doing a giveaway. <clears throat> Family, you can post something funny, like what is something funny that your kids say, post a funny meme that has to do with one of your five things, um, anything to entertain your audience. Thrive, what is something special that you do for your customers? You can talk about that in a live, you can show a picture of you sending out thank you cards, you can talk about it in your stories, um, you can show it in your stories. What is something different that you or special that you do for your customers? This is again, positioning yourself for the people in the fast lane. How are you the authority? How are you different and why should they go with you? Stories. How is Thrive helping you accomplish the things that you want to get done through the weekend? So are you like doing a, a bajillion loads of laundry? Because we all know that's what we do on the weekends, even though we don't want to, <laughs> or cleaning, or maybe you do have a bunch of family things going on, going to all those things, like whatever. How is Thrive helping you through the weekend? Reels. Best time to post reels on a Saturday, 11 a.m., 7 p.m., and 8 p.m. 11 a.m., 7 p.m., 8 p.m. Find a funny reel and replicate it. Like maybe you're doing a um, over a lip sync. That's funny. Replicate Megan, it. Can you wheel. look over in the chat? Um, there's a question Kimberly was having about making a separate page because there's people that she like cannot recruit, but she can't not have them on her Facebook page either. Do you have any so tips for you're that? not actively recruiting people on? I never cold message. First of all, if you can't quote unquote recruit them, like maybe they're, I don't know. You're only advertising for the people that want it and that will come to you. Um, I would not suggest doing a separate page. I, if anyone else has any input on that, um, because then you're starting over at square one and you're 
it's going to be so much work. Um, let me see. Can't afford one brand because that's what I'm thinking. It doesn't matter about your Facebook history because, again, you're evolving as a person. Dude, my Facebook history, my memories pop up and I'm like, holy shit, was I negative. Holy crap, was my life filled with, I was such a negative Nelly and it was really weird. <laughs> people need to see how you're evolving. Like people that were in addiction, let's talk about that. So people that were in addiction, they don't delete the stuff that was there. That's part of your life. That's part of your story. That's part of the reason why this, this is so helpful for people because you can overcome anything and do anything. This will help you no matter what your walk of life is. It doesn't matter where you came from. So I think it's important that we don't delete our history and that we show, look how we're evolving as a human. And it's thanks to these products and thanks to this business opportunity. I have um, customers that come to me because they see the difference. This June, I'll have seven years clean and they can see the difference in my eyes, my smile. And now they're customers of mine. They love to see how you've grown as a person and overcome your tragedies. That gives them a reason to overcome theirs. Amen. And I can tell you right now, I am so can't confident in the fact of where I'm going and where I am. If somebody doesn't like my journey, bye, Felicia. See you later. I do not care because your opinion is not paying my bills and you're just not meant to be part of my journey anyways. Nobody can stop me from where I'm going and you guys should have the same mentality. I mean, we are so riddled with people's opinions that it's not even funny and you think that somebody has a certain opinion about you. So you're worried about going live or you're worried about doing reels. I can tell you people are more worried about what other people think of them to even be concerned about what you're doing. And if they have something to say about your journey, F them. Sorry. They're not going to move you forward. Bye. Bye. I don't even care <laughs> at this point in my life. If you want to level up, there's some people that can't come with you. That's, there's some people that cannot see the vision that you have for your life and it makes them uncomfortable that you're outgrowing them because they're staying the same. So they're going to try to pull you back down to their comfort level. Do not ever let them do not ever let them because I don't want anybody that's watching this zoom in 10 years from now, maybe you decided, Oh, I'm just going to quit. I never want you to sit and look back and think, man, what if I would have? That should never be a word that comes out of your mouth ever in your life. Live your life fully. Screw other people's opinions. <laughs> and you can always set your posts to public except for, and you can always block certain people from seeing different posts. It's all in your settings. Correct. Um, Sunday, connect. Get to know your audience. Maybe do polls in a story. Maybe do like the ask, ask a question bubble. Um, like what would you like to see more content about? Um, maybe do like an engagement post. Like what's something that nobody would believe if you told them or whatever. Anything that you can do to connect to people and get to know your audience. Thrive. Planning your week. How you plan your week, do a live about it, or you can post it in your stories. Like, look, we're doing it right now. So problem solved. Talk about how you plan your week and how Thrive helps you with that. Maybe it's your business. Maybe it's product or with the products and you're on a health journey. How do you meal prep? Anything like that. Stories, share your vision board. If you don't have one, it is time to create one this week. And the reason you Megan, we lost you. We got create your vision board and that was it. Can you all hear me? Somebody can say, okay, you can hear me. All right. Yeah, so, I can hear you, Shannon. All right, good. So um, until she figures out where she went, another good thing to do in your stories is with your daily routine, show people what you do and how you plan your week and ask them they plan theirs. What's the first five things you do to plan your week? 
mine and list yours out and then how they do theirs. Um, I always have inspirational quotes on Sunday as well to finish up the week beautifully. I agree. Can you guys Maybe. hear me? Oh, there you are. There you are. Here she is. Okay. The last, we lost you at, if you haven't made a vision board, make one. And then you went dead. It's time to make one because like I said, with the law of attraction, your brain is going to, if you're looking at something every day, your brain's going to move you towards it. And you, it gives per, people, other people permission to have a vision for their life. And I thought vision boards were silly before. Trust me. I was like, oh, okay. Like I'm going to put all this stuff on a board and that's going to happen. But until I made it my, my own and st stopped trying to copy people, like I put post-its on mine so I can pull them off as I go. And since I started doing that, I'm accomplishing so much more with that by putting like little things that I can accomplish and then having the big visions too. So you need to have a dream board. I don't care. It can be, a, it can be, it should be a visual one, not a, a physical one, not a, what sort I'm trying to think of. Like a, not a virtual one, not a virtual one. Thank you. Yes. Words are hard. <laughs> That's okay. I ch this changed my life guys until I put it on an actual poster board and could check things off and pull things off and move little clips over it. it, it I wasn't really doing anything, but when you have to physically do something with your vision board, your dreams start happening. Amen to that. Reels, best time to post reels, 7 a.m. on Sunday, 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. And I don't have a reels idea for Sunday. Do you have one, Shannon? Or Katie or anyone? I talk about, well, I was planning on talking about today, the difference of being able to fit all of my family time in little spaces today or being able to do it during the week? Would they rather have what I used to have, only family time on Sunday, or what I have now, non-negotiable times with my family throughout the week? So that difference. Perfect. Well, I brought, brought us right to the top of the hour. <laughs> um. Um, best time to post about thrive on Facebook on Sundays, I would say 8 30 to 9 30 PM because people are typically like pretty busy throughout the day, but they're winding down at 8 30 to 9 30. I call it like the heartstring time. So like, if you want to share your personal story on like a live or in a post, a long form post, 8 30 to 9 30 is a really good time on Sundays. Any That's a good time to do live interviews too Amen. of other thrivers. Yes. That's something else. Oh, I here, let me go back into what I wrote down the other day. Think about some things that you need to be showing every week for your business. And these are the things that I personally wrote down because I want, I need to, I don't, I just thought these are things I need to get into the habit of doing more often. Sample posting in my stories and on my posts, talking about the products more as much as I can physically talking about them with my mouth, not just posting about them, talking about the bonuses before and afters. You need to have that proof for people that it's not just working for you. It's working for other people. So in stories, maybe it's taking somebody else's before and after and tagging them in a post testimonials. Got to have testimonials because people need to, again, see why visual proof, why this actually works so that they can have permission to step outside of their skepticism. And then I said one interview a week. I want to do one interview a week of another thriver because again, proof that it doesn't just work for me. It works for other people. So that's kind of what I wrote. Speaking of miss, you owe me one. Oh yes. Reach out, <laughs> reach out to me. We can do it. Okay. All right, guys, I will post this recording in all of the threads of the pages that they are in after it is completed uploading but let me if you have any questions hold speak now or forever hold your peace and post your stories quick if you have the time never doubt yourself guys each one of us on this zoom can make a positive difference don't hold yourself back somebody needs you today preach sister
There could be somebody sitting there that needs to hear your message today and you could give them permission to live their life differently. All right, guys. Oh. Um, what plan to, what? You plan to add to your posts a week? Well, that would take forever. Um, do you mean like pictures? Mindset? No. So I, what? I was, I was talking about the, think about the things you need to add to your post. Oh, like okay. Yeah. The, uh, I'll type them. I'll type them. Oh, you're so going to type them up. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. <laughs> I just love that accent, Miss Patsy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I know. I always think like, I'm like, I sound like I'm from Fargo and <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, I wish I had a southern accent. <laughs> hey, I'm from Baltimore, hon. <laughs> Everybody always want to walk up to people. They look at me like, I'm like, what? They're, oh, I was just waiting to see if you said hun. Just because other people from Baltimore say it all the time doesn't mean I do. <laughs> <laughs> With mindset. Um, I'm going to touch on that real quick and then I'll I'll let you guys on your day. If you can hop off, if you need to hop off, but mindset, um, mindset is everything in your business. Uh, I know what it feels like to feel like you're stuck and to feel like your thoughts are robbing you of dude this morning, this morning alone, you guys, I was feeling so overwhelmed this morning and this happens to me all the time, but I'm a person of faith. So I, that's one way that I dig into my, my mindset is, what does God really say about me? But I was overwhelmed. I was like, I feel like I'm not getting all the things done in my house. I feel like I'm feeling in my business. I feel like I'm feeling at my health journey. I feel like I'm feeling at all these things. And like your mind will go on a downward spiral. But I think what's important is you have to first recognize when those thoughts are coming in and understand that it's not fact. We think that a thought is fact and it's not true. Thoughts are basically implants from previous exp experiences or things that people have told you or um, behaviors that you've adapted through like parents or other people that you know. So when you're accepting your thoughts as fact, like, let me give an example of some thoughts I that I had this morning, like, oh man, I'm just never going to get all the things done. I am, I suck at this. Uh, these aren't actual, I mean, some of them are, and some of them are actual thoughts I've had down the road before. Um, I'm never going to be a good leader. I don't know enough. Um, I'm not doing enough. I'm not enough. I am terrible. You think all those things and then you're, you stop doing action because you think that that is the truth that's being spoken over your life. And that's not what it is. So now I read, first of all, I read out, read the book, get out of your head. It's a really good book. And it's by uh, Jenny Allen. And you can just get it on Amazon. Get out of your head is, called, is what it's called. And we can't pretend like those thoughts aren't there because I, I know what, when people say like, Oh, have a positive mindset, have positive thoughts, just be positive, be positive. And I was like, shut up. My mind is telling me stupid things right now. Like, how do I change that? Nobody wants to give you like a practical answer as to how you change that. They just want you to pretend like it's not even happening. And if you're pretending like those thoughts aren't happening, you feel like a fraud. You feel like the positive affirmations you're writing down are dumb. You feel like the, the trying to be positive, you're like, well, it's not working for me. So why am I even doing this? It's because you're trying to pretend like those thoughts aren't even coming into your head. The first part is you need to acknowledge that the thought is there. That thought is happening. So if you're feeling, if you're saying to yourself, I'm not enough, you're like, okay, I recognize that that thought is there, but what is the truth? And for me, my faith is really important because God says I'm enough. He created me. He planted me with unique gifts, skills, abilities to impact his world. And therefore I am enough because he took the time to create me just like he took the time to create the lovely flowers on the planet or the birds in the sky. Like I am important. And he wouldn't plant things on your heart if they weren't important. And I don't know like how much, how many of you are people of faith, but that is what gets me through everything because I need, I go into the word of God. I understand what are the things that God 
really says that we are uniquely specially made, that we are his masterpiece. Think about this. And this might be like getting preaching on a Sunday, <laughs> like too much faith based, but think if you have children, think about your kids. God is our father. Would you not want your children to be successful, live the most abundant life, step into their gifts? That's what he wants for you. And those thoughts that are coming into your head, that's the enemy. He's trying to pull you down because you're trying to fulfill the life that God has created for you. And that threatens his existence and that invalidates him. The, the enemy is not creative. He will replay the exact same things that you've been telling yourself the entire life through your own two ears. But God is creative and he has made you creative and he has made you with the ability to control the thoughts that are coming into your head. And the first part is acknowledging it's there. And then the second part is replacing it with a new truth. Are you a failure at everything? No. You get up in the morning, you do your hair, you, you, you live every day. So you're not a failure. There are things that you've done in your life that you've been successful at. You're not a failure at walking. You learned how to walk, right? You learned how to eat. You learned all those things. You're not a failure. And just because you're feeling like that because of what you're looking too much at other people is the problem. That is usually what the problem is all the time. If you're ever in a bad mindset, it's usually because you're looking around yourself too much and you're not looking enough at who's the person I'm trying to create or become and how can I take step towards that person every single day? And that's how I start my day every day. What are the things I'm trying to create? How can I move myself towards that? You need to let go of the things that happened yesterday. You need to stop watching everyone else live their life and stop trying to mimic them and stop trying to compare your story to them. And you need to look at who is the person I want to be in five years, in 10 years. And what can I do today to move myself towards that person? Anytime that I felt like I'm not enough, it's because I'm comparing myself to standards of this world and of other people. And I've had to unfollow leaders that I loved because I was comparing myself too much. Your I had to, is very what? important. Your circle is very important too. Oh gosh. Yes. Amen to that. It is so important. If you have people that are around you that are like constantly negative and like, they're always talk. my best friend, my previous best friend, the maid of honor in my wedding, her and I rarely speak because I knew I had to protect my mindset. I'm not saying don't be friends with people. We're still friends, but I limit the time that I'm spending in conversation with her because every time it gets redirected to something negative. And like I said, I'm all about moving myself towards that person I want to be. And I, nothing is going to stop me. And you guys, nothing should stop you from doing that same thing for your life. I don't care where you've came from. I don't care what happened yesterday. I don't care if you didn't accomplish everything you wanted to yesterday. I don't care if you're super far from where your goals that you set from the beginning of the month today. I don't care about any of that. What matters is how you're getting up every morning and showing up for the next 24 hours and letting go everything else that happened the day before. Because if you're trying to hold on to things that have happened in the past, guess where you're going to stay in the past. You're going to stay in the exact same behaviors that you've done the entire, your entire life. You're going to stay in the exact same mindset. Today is a new day. Focus on the next 24 hours and what would make you feel accomplished? You. Not what you think your upline wants you to do, not what you think your friends want you to do, not what you think society wants you to do. What would make you feel fulfilled when you put your head down on your bed tonight that you said, I feel like I did a good job. And if you don't feel like you did a good job, release that shit, let it go. You can't keep hanging on to that stuff because it'll keep you stuck forever and ever and ever and ever. I got Today's great news. What? I have to interrupt for this. I just got an e email, CEO launch call, Monday, March 1st, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. Launch That's call. tomorrow. Tomorrow is tech. Oh, I'm pumped. Woo -woo. So, yeah, just 
I want you guys to start over today. Start out over the new month. Like if you set goals for the month of February that you didn't achieve, um, who cares? Stop beating yourself up over things that sometimes you can't even control. Like what can you control? What can you control today? You can't control who's actually going to order, order today. You can control your efforts. How many people are you talking to? How many previous customers are you reaching out to and caring about them? How many of your promoters are you trying to help? By ju- they, You can't do the work for them, but you can reach out to them. Set a new intention for the month of March. What are the things that you can control that you're going to do every day? Stop trying to put these goals on. your. It is important to have goals as your benchmarks, but if you're focusing on the goal number and you're not focusing on your, your specific actions, you'll never get there. So what are you going to do differently today that is going to move you towards the person you want to become? And I promise if you're taking those actions every day, that person will come. Those goals will happen. But if you're constantly trying to live in yesterday and you're constantly second guessing yourself and comparing yourself to other people in their journey, you're never going to get there. You've got to work on you and the person that you're seeing in the mirror that looks back at you. So let's have an awesome start to March. Let's have an awesome end of February. And I, I hope this was helpful for you guys. I love you guys all so much. And I will post this recording shortly. Love you.